Hi guys, it's Grandma. It's time for a story. Um, I know Halloween is coming up, so I looked through my Halloween books and I picked a couple that maybe I'll read this week just because it's Halloween coming up. And I'm going to read this one today. It's a story I know you know, and you've even seen the movie, but I like the story and I wanted to read it. So I'm going to read Room on the Broom. It's by Julia Donaldson and Alex Scheffler. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair and a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his paws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low then said, as the witch tied to her braid in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch trapped the, tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew. Over the moors and mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down went the, they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. The witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and witch with French fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire, 
Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eye and said, Just this once, I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back as he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. They Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and whew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. <clears throat> The end. I hope you like the story. It's kind of a fun one for Halloween season. All right. Hope it was good. Take care. Grandma loves you.